Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good to see you. Good Hi. evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? We are fine. Okay, ready for ready another? Ready to start. Hello there. Hello. How are you? I'm good. fine. How are you? Good, you. good evening, everyone. Good. Okay, good, good excellent. Evening. What about Let, you, teacher? How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you very much. I'm doing uh, just fine. Okay, a little yeah, a, a little hot, but doing doing good. <laughs> good. Okay. So it's uh what time is it? It's AO3, I guess it's star AO2. I don't want Antonio, Eugenio, Brenda, Jennifer. Maria Jose. Hello, good Mr. Good, good evening. Good, Hello, good Mr. evening. Good, good evening. Are you ready? Yes, yeah, we are. Yes, you are. Okay, guys. So today we're going to start uh, yes, already. week number. What week is this one? Three. Week third. Number, number three. three. Yes, the third week. Right. Excellent. So let me share something that uh, I prepared for you. I hope that I am ready. Um, yes, I try to be ready all the time. Okay, okay. What is uh, unit number 14? So that's what I mean. So that's what it means. Yes. Okay. So we're going to talk about, let's see the people who, uh, Jennifer Mo said, we're talking about topics, nonverbal. Nonverbal communication, gesture, mm. how do you pronounce? Gestures, gestures. Gestures. And? Meanings, emotions, proverbs, signs. Signs and, and meaning. meaning. And? Meaning drawing and, conclusions. And drawing conclusions. Okay. Today is Monday, November 13. And this is, remember, this is our third week. Uh, this is week number three. And we're going to complete section number four, which is this one. And uh, you got to advance at least and. Um, 50% uh, on section number five. So, yes, Don Vicente? Teacher, this afternoon we receive a message from the administration that we have to finish uh, the platform this week. Uh, it says by Monday, yes, uh, of course, but I ask and we're going to finish section number, section number five next week from the 20th to the 23rd. So I will try to send you some exercises, some things as soon as I have it for you. Well, from this one, I will send you some audios and some vocabulary for you to practice and some extra exercises, okay? That you can practice, okay? I will okay. try to give you the tools to, in order for you to work over there. Yes, I saw the message. Um, I really saw the message. Okay, okay. let me... Okay, so, but you will do it okay, I guess. Okay, I, what happens? I didn't put, um, I remember that I, let me just do something over here. I remember that I put a, a song animation to this one. Maybe I didn't. Okay, what do you see in over there? Body languages. Uh, body language. Okay, body language. Look at the body language that you have over there. Okay. Elizabeth Medrano, what is the number one? Elizabeth? M maybe she cannot hear. Uh, Don Juan Antonio, what is number one? Let me see. And number one, leave me alone. Leave me leave alone. Me. I don't know uh, the face. Ah, 
the, the girl is with uh, mm -hmm. one hand over here and the other. Okay, Claudia Maria Gomez. What is number, uh, number, uh, number second? Number two. That's finished. That's finished. Okay, let's finish. Okay, and the guy is doing this one, right? Yeah, right. And uh, what about Oscar? What about number three? Uh huh, Oscar. Luis Alfredo, what is the next one? Eh, Nia Lorena Menjivar, what is the next one? Number three. I am thinking. I am thinking. I like like this, right? I am right. thinking. Okay. So, concentration. Uh, yeah, concentration. Maria Jose, number four. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and the next one. What is it? <coughs> What is it? I'm born. I'm born. I'm born. I'm born. What is I'm the born. face? Oh, like this, like this. I'm born. So I'm nothing born. to do. So these are some of the nothing body language that we that we usually do. Do we do this? Do we have this body language in El Salvador? Like this ones? Yeah, right. Yeah? Which ones? Yes. Which ones do you all, think that we have over here? All of them, I guess. All of them. Okay. All of them. Do we, uh, what other body language do we, we use to communicate things? Do we have others? Yes. Like, for example? For example, tired. A tired? When okay. we are talking very uh, walking very slow, oh, and no, okay. nothing energy. No energy, can, no nothing at all. That is tired. Ah, okay, okay. But uh, right now I don't know. But let's let's see. Let's see. I have other body languages over there. Uh, for example, uh, here. We have a conversation. What is the conversation? Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Cecilio Antonio, could you please read the learning adjective? Cecilio? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Cecilio. Practice. Learning objectives, practice, uh, conversation about body. Language, C models, and adverbs in, in context. Uh, C models and adverbs in context. Good. So what do you see, Catherine Vasquez? What do you see on the picture? What do you see on the picture? Tell me as much as you can about the picture. Two men okay. talking about. Okay, two men talking. Okay. Uh, can be the homework. Yeah, as okay. Employment. Good, excellent. As much as you can. Okay, so good. Okay. And and thank you. Thank you, uh, Brenda. And uh, Don Luis Alfredo Aguilar, what do you see in this, their occupation? What do they do? Excuse me, teacher. I am driving this moment. Ah, okay, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Okay. I'll, see, I'll see you later. Uh, Maria Jose, what do you think is their profession? Excuse me? What do you think they do? What is their job? Um, uh, I think they are teachers, maybe. Okay, maybe teachers, possible, maybe. Okay, good. Okay. Or, or maybe students. Or maybe a students. Okay, good, Maria Jose. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. I have some questions over there. Could you please take notes of the questions? 
in your notebook, write the questions. Ah, students, Catherine, yes. Uh-huh, maybe, yes. What's the new student's name and where is he from, okay? Number two, Don Juan Antonio. What is number two? Uh, what does he do when you talk to him? What does he do when you talk to him? Good. Excellent. And let's see. Brenda Claribel, number three. What does Laura first guess that it means? It means, good. And the last one, uh, let's see. Uh, Katarin Vasquez, number four. What's her second guess? Okay, what's her second guess? Okay, Laura, okay. And I think I have number five. Norma Lisbeth, what is number five? What? Norma? What does Uh-huh, read it. Wendy Lisette, I guess. Hi, teacher. Hi, what is number five? What does the second man, Peter, think in the means? It means, good. Okay, write down the, the, the questions and I'll play the audio and you try to answer the questions, okay? Using sentences, using expressions, using words, uh, just say notes, okay? Okay. Tell me when you're ready. We are. Okay. I see that some of you are still taking notes. Good. Excellent. I got it. Okay, okay. Just one minute. Okay, I will play the audio once. Uh, do not try to answer, okay? Just uh, read the questions and try to follow the conversation, okay? So do not, on the first time only, follow the conversation and listen, okay? Ready? Ready. Exercise two, conversation, Ready. part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj? The student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with what you're saying. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay, I'm going to play, and this time, try to answer. Exercise 2. Conversation. Part A. Listen and practice. 
Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with what you're saying. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay, you had uh, like 30 seconds to answer as much as you can. You had okay. like 30 seconds to answer as much as you can. Okay, now listen and I will make a pause and give you some time for you to, to check your answer or to answer, okay? I will try to pause the audio. Exercise two, conversation, part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with what you're saying. Oh, so that... That was Peter. That's what it means. Okay, now I'm going to play Exercise it. Exercise 2. Conversation. Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with what you're saying. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay, who would like to try number one? What's the new student's name and where is he from? Juan Antonio? Don Juan Antonio, number one. Don Vicente, number two. Claudia okay. Maria, yeah. number, Claudia the... Maria, number three. Uh-huh, tell me, Don Juan Antonio. Okay. Okay, sorry, but in my home is uh, raining. Uh, okay. Very hard. Uh, okay, uh, the name of these people, his name is uh, Raj. Uh -huh. And where is Raj? he from? Uh, from India. From India. Oops, man. Okay, okay. So, okay, Claudia Maria, number three. Don, uh, Don Vicente, number, number two. Number two. Yes. Number two. What does he do when you talk to him?
to him, him. Uh, mm. uh -huh. he moved his hand um, side to side he like moved his negative. Head. Okay, he moves his like head. negative. Okay, from side to side. Claudia Maria, number three. Uh, according to the first guess, it means he doesn't understand you. It means he doesn't understand. Maybe he doesn't understand. Yes, good, thank you. Uh, who would like to try number four? Catherine Vasquez, thank you. Number four. Yeah, the second guess uh, was that he uh, doesn't agree with uh, what he's uh, saying. Ah, uh, he could mean he doesn't agree. Yes, thank you. And what about the last one? What uh, what does the second man, Peter, think it means? Uh, someone else? Another volunteer? Another volunteer? Catherine, you say number four, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Thank you, Catherine. Another volunteer, number five. Oops. Hey, come on, guys. Take a wild guess. Can I try, mister? Sure. Yes, I have. Go ahead, miss. Thank you. Um, Peter, think, think, I think is, is a guy is very, um, a, very interesting. Okay. Okay. Good try. Thank you very much, Brenda. Someone okay. else has another idea to, uh, from Brenda? Okay. According to the second guy, it, say, it means uh, he agrees with what you're saying. That's, that's, but that's, that's, and that's good, Brenda. Okay. So, uh, these are the guys, okay? This is the conversation, okay? And that's the conversation over there. Let's listen and read. Exercise 2. Conversation. Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with what you're saying. Oh, so that's what it means. One more time. Listen and read. Exercise 2. Conversation. Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj? The student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with what you're saying. Oh, so that's what it means. Now let's listen and repeat. I will make a pause, okay? okay? I will try. No microphones, just from the back over there, but repeat louder. Exercise two, conversation, part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice. But there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this.
Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean... And he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with what you're saying. Oops. Okay. That was the last one over there. Okay. So, let me see. Uh, uh, Claudia Maria, could you help me with the conversation? Your Laura. And Don Juan Antonio, you are Peter. Okay? Thank you, Chair. Okay, I'm Peter. Okay. Uh, I am Ron. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there is one thing that I notice. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him, you know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Don't want? Huh? Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads on side to side when they agree with that you are saying. Oh, that's what it means. Okay. I'm going to send you to a break room. Do you have the conversation over there? Okay. Do you have the conversation? Yes. Let me see how many. Yes. Okay. I will send you. I have that one. Okay, please be sure that you have it. I will send you in group of three and please uh, play the roles of uh, what, what are their names? Uh, Ron, Laura, and Peter, okay? Uh, we are 19. Okay. Uh, 19 and three. Uh, one group will six. be with four, okay? Four. Uh-huh, six. No. I will give you only like about six minutes. Okay. Okay, around six minutes, you should be getting the invitation. Please accept the invitation.
Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Have Go you ahead. met Ralph? Okay. Have you met Ralph, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one uh, thing I noticed. He moves his hair from side to side when you talk to him, you know, like this. Um, I got lost. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when I agree with that you're saying. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay. Now, good. Good. Hey, good. <laughs> now you can change roles. Okay. Uh, Brenda can be Ron or Laura. Uh, Don Juan, you can be Peter, and um, Claudia Maria, you can be the other one. Okay. okay. I am Ron okay. or Laura. I can be Peter. Okay. Okay, I am um, Laura. <laughs> okay. How do you meet Raj? The student from India? Have you met a student from India? No, I haven't. Well, see. Mm -hmm. Like this. Hey, maybe it's me. He doesn't understand. Oh, I don't think so. Uh, or oh, it called me, he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with what you are saying. Yeah. Oh, so that one is me. I am from you, Laura. I am from Peter, you, Laura. How do you mean Raj is studying from India? Uh, well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side. When you talk to him, you know, like this. No, I don't think so. Actually, the people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when when they agree with what you're saying. Also, oh, that what it means. Okay, people should be coming. Very well, um, very good, well done. I saw a couple of groups and you were practicing. Excellent. So, 
Teacher, I have alone in my break 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 room. Are you were alone? Oh, yeah, once. I agree. I wrote in the group in the of WhatsApp, and and uh, don't see you. Uh, I wasn't in some groups. I'm sorry, Wendy, but uh, don't feel bad. Okay, it's the thing is that I can not see everybody sometimes, but um, okay. I'm really sorry. I apologize for that. I will be paying more attention. Okay, that everybody is with someone. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see here. Okay, so we were practicing very good, guys. So you were practicing, unfortunately. But okay, so let's listen to the second part. Uh, listen to Rod talking to his friend, his friend. What does he find unusual about the way people in North America communicate? Let's listen. Page 86, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to Raj talking to his friend. What does he find unusual about the way people in North America communicate? Only so listen. How are things at school, Raj? Oh, pretty good. Only listen. Do not try to answer, okay? Only listen. Actually, okay. it's easy to communicate with people most of the time, though there are some things I find a bit unusual. For example, the way that people end a conversation. You know, they'll say things like, Hey, let's get together soon. At first, I thought that they were inviting me to do something. But then I realized it's just a way of saying goodbye. It's not really an invitation at all. It takes a bit of getting used to. Now, uh, try to answer in your notebook or in your path. Uh, with sentences, with words, uh, or use phrases, whatever, okay? Just take notes. Page 86, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to Raj talking to his friend. What does he find unusual about the way people in North America communicate? So how are things at school, Raj? Oh, pretty good, actually. Do you find it easy to communicate with people? Most of the time, though there are some things I find a bit unusual. For example, the way that people end a conversation. You know, they'll say things like, Hey, let's get together soon. At first, I thought that they were inviting me to do something. But then I realized it's just a way of saying goodbye. It's not really an invitation at all. It takes a bit of getting used to. 30 seconds to write your ideas. We don't have it yet. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yes, I have an idea. Okay. What is your idea, uh, Brenda? Um, Rush, I understand other things. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, see you, see, see you Monday. For example, uh, he understands inviting to Monday. For example. Okay. Thank you, Brenda. Someone else. Someone else? He finds unusual uh, the way that, that they say goodbye. Okay, he finds unusual that the way they go, God. Okay, good. Uh, someone else wants to say something? I uh -huh. want an invitation at all. Ah, he thinks that uh, they are inviting him. Remember that uh, I think it was with you that we talk about culture, right? Uh, culture is culture. And uh, when you move to another country, you take the culture with you. Of course, you had to do, as the old saying says, or the proverbs, do as Romans do. Okay, you're going to do what people do over there, but your culture is with you. Okay, so I think every one of you, it's gives something about. This is the whole thing that uh, it's answering the question, but are you, 
you said the things that were over there. So the finds a way people end a conversation unusual, okay, like you said. Uh, they'll say things like, hey, let's get together soon. And what he's his, uh, so it's saying. So he says it's just a way of saying goodbye, okay? Hey, I'll see you later. Okay, or get uh, or like they say over there, let's get together soon. So it's not really an invitation at all. Okay, did you say that? Did you Perfect. mention some of the answers, Brenda? Did you say something like that? Yes or no, Brenda? Yes, Mister. Yes, you say it's something, something like, like that. Uh huh. Yes, you say something um, like that. In my case, when I start to study English, when I say me all talking about with other friends, uh, you see busy, you know, what? What do you mean? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand. It. But in this moment, I, I try to, on, uh, I try to learn idioms because yes. it's very important is more cultural for for the you uh estadounidenses yeah they, they very... use a lot mm -hmm. exactly they they use a lot of things over there for example british english does not use uh contractions right they use always use form but american yes and expert said that we should use uh, contractions because it sounds more natural expert said okay so let's that's that's russian advanced. so there we have a vocabulary i don't copy this one because i'll send it to you what is the india what is india uh wendy lisette india a country in southern asia and sorry asia notice uh katarin vasquez notice notice so, so yes, and uh, Claudia Maria Gomez from side to side, from side to side, first to the left and then to the right, or what? vice versa. Good, Juan Antonio, you know, uh, you know, is when I a phrase, call... oh, yeah. Our police way to say it, I don't agree. Good. Luis Alfredo Aguilar, I don't think so. Okay. So, uh, no, I don't think so. A polite way to say I don't agree. Okay. A polite way to say I don't agree. Okay. Good. And uh, actually, actually, in fact. In fact. Okay, when you got chance, see how they use actually. For example, he's saying, uh, let's see, actually, actually, people from India. In fact, people from India sometimes move their heads. You can say actually, you can say in fact. Actually, people from India, or in fact, people from India move side to side. Okay, so we have, we're doing okay, so... We have, teacher, yes, miss. Teacher, excuse me. What is the difference between actually and current? Currently, currently. Currently, uh -huh, currently. Mm, currently, actually, is in fact, and currently, uh, now, at this moment, okay? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay. Currently, I am teaching English um, intermediate three mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at this moment. Oh, okay, thank uh -huh. you. You're welcome. Uh, okay, L uh, learning objective. Uh, let's see. Uh, eh, no, Ezequiel, are you there? Maybe he, okay. Sarai Trejos, help me with the learning objective, please. Learning objective practice using models and words to solve problems. 
Okay, let's practice using models and adverbs to talk about meaning. Let's, uh, we have on the first column to your left, remember, you have models. On the right, you have uh, adverbs. Let's listen. Page 87, exercise three, grammar focus, modals and adverbs. Modals. It might mean he doesn't understand you. It may mean he doesn't understand you. It could mean he doesn't agree with you. It must mean he agrees with you. Adverbs. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. Perhaps it means he doesn't agree with you. That probably means he agrees with you. Okay, let's listen and repeat. Now open microphones, aunque se oiga un poquito ruidoso, okay? Page okay. 87, exercise three, grammar focus, modals and adverbs. Modals. It might mean he doesn't understand you. It might mean he doesn't understand you. It may mean he doesn't understand you. It may mean he doesn't understand you. It could mean he doesn't agree with you. It could mean he doesn't agree with you. It must mean he agrees with you. It, it must, must mean, mean he agrees agree with, with you. Yes. Adverbs. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. That probably means he agrees with you. That probably, that probably, that probably means he agrees with you. With you. <laughs> okay, good, excellent. Close your microphones. Uh, close your microphones. Thank you. Okay, you're. Uh, thank you. Somebody is fighting. Yeah, there was a movie. Okay, so <laughs> models and adverbs. Okay, what are look at the uh, models and the adverbs. Okay, models. It might mean. It may mean. It could mean. It must mean. Adverbs. Let me just. Adverbs. May. Maybe it means. Perhaps it means. Possible. It means. It probably means. It definitely means. So look over there. This is uh, this one at the top are a slight possibility. And this ones at the end are like a strong possibility. So it might or may mean a slight possibility. Maybe, perhaps it means a slight possibility. Like 50-50, like 50%, it could mean Possible mean, it probably means. That's 60%. That will be like a slide. And this one, a strong possibility. It must mean, or it definitely means, okay? So these are the models. The models are my, may, could, must. Adverse, may, perhaps, possible, probably, Definitely. Now, let's listen and repeat after me. Okay, 
my okay. my my may 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 uh, uh do me a favor this time with no microphone okay but do it from your house okay don't worry you will have a lot of chance to practice okay let's try again my may could could must maybe perhaps possible probably possible probably definitely definitely Okay, so those are the models and the adverbs and look at the, the way that you use, okay? So the ones at the top are a slight possibility. The ones at the bottom, strong possibility, okay? So that will be uses. Esto no, do not copy because I will send it to you because it's a lot, okay? So because it's a lot. So it says, we use my, may, could, and maybe, perhaps, to say there is a slight possibility that something is true or correct. Okay, the next one is number two. We use most and probably to say there is not a strong probability that something is true or correct, okay? That there is a strong, it might be 100%. Okay, models and adverbs. You have an example over there. For example, it says, Sara asked, uh, Don Juan Antonio, read the, number, the sentence. Let me see. Sara asked. Sara asked my phone number. It may be should I? Uh, maybe Sara likes me. Sorry. Uh -huh. It might mean she. Ah, sorry. It might mean uh, she likes me. That... It might mean it might mean that Sarah as likes sorry. likes me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, that's okay. Don't it don't apolo don't apologize. Don't okay, apologize. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Let's try again. Let's try again, Don Juan. Don Juan, let's try again. Sarah asks. Okay. Sarah asks. for my phone number. It may mean no. I, I, ah, that 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 she likes me. That's a, that's alright. The idea is uh, I don't. Okay. I don't have it. Okay. Uh, Wendy, number two. Don has been in a terrible mood. He might have a problems at work. He might have problems at work. Okay. Uh. Uh, let's see, uh, Claudia Maria de Sotos. Claudia Maria. I was me, sorry. De Sotos never answered their phone. It could simply Im imply, imply. Uh, it could imply that they are not how much. Okay. And uh, Maria Jose Najarro, you have. You, Jovner, mm -hmm. five in the last five minutes, uh -huh. you, must, you must be really bored. Yeah, jam uh, it's like, like this, like this, that's to do. So that's okay. So, Models that we using over there, for example, it may mean that she likes me. Okay, that's a slight possibility. Remember, 
Tom has been uh, in a terrible mood. He might have problems at work. And uh, the Sotos never answer their phone. It could imply that they are not home much. You jammed for the last twice in the last five minutes. It must be really poor, okay? So that's that's the thing over there, okay? So it must be really well. So remember that must is a strong possibility, okay? May and might, it could be a slight possibility. Could, 60% possibility. But must is a very strong. Okay, then we have Don Vicente, number one, adverse. Sorry, I was mute. Okay, number one, the first one. Okay. The, the okay. My, my roommate's. Uh -huh. My roommate still not home. Maybe, perhaps, he had to study late at the library. Okay, good. Thank you. So we over there we are using maybe or perhaps. perhaps. Okay. And uh let's see. Uh Jennifer Mo said, look at the sky. Jennifer. Jennifer, are you there? Uh, Lorena Mejibar, are you there? Yes, teacher. Uh, read the sentence, please. Look at the sky. Look at the sky. It probably rain any minute. Okay. It probably it will probably rain any minute. So uh -huh. over here we are using the adverb probably. Remember that maybe, perhaps, and probably. They are adverse, okay? They are adverse, okay? Okay, so let me uh, look for attendance and we'll do uh, the exercises tomorrow, okay? So we'll work on this one tomorrow. Don't worry, I will send you the, the definitions over there for you to practice. Let me just look okay. for or, uh, the... Um, Uh -huh. you, you must be tired. <laughs> so very tired. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, let me see. If, uh, 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 you must be tired. I should be over here. Yeah, that's me. Okay. I'm sorry to ask. Do you, Have you listened to a cat or something? No. <laughs> Okay, Ana Sonia Elizabeth Martinez. Present teacher. Andrea Esther Acosta Hernandez. Here teacher. Brenda Claribel Mejia Segovia. Present mister. Is Cecilio Antonio Cortez Escobar. Present mister. Claudia Maria Gomez Canizales. Present teacher. Uh, Edgar Mauricio Barrera Ortega. Eugenio Ernesto Martínez Fuentes. Present, mister. Giovanni José González Olmedo. Present, teacher. Uh, Jennifer Mauset Arevalo Flores. Present. Juan Antonio Brande Paz. Present, teacher. Catarín Mariel Vázquez Flores. Present. La Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Lorena Araceli Hernández de García. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Lorena, Lorena de Los Ángeles Mengíbar de Najarro. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. María José Najarro Mengíbar. Noé, Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. 
Present, present. Norma Crespín Orellana. Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. Saraí Noemí Trejo Suyoa. Vicente Israel Sánchez Herazo. Present teacher. Wendy Lisette Carías de Cedillos. Present teacher. Uh, okay, Norma, thank you very much. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Please do not miss the classes. Okay. okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Have a nice night, everybody. Good night. 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 Good night.